So guys, this is my weekly report for April the 6th. And um, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about myself again. You know, I've been in the industry for over 30 years. You know, um, I get a lot of my information from local guides, friends, customers, and also I'm on the water three or four times a week. So mainly what's going on is it's changing a little bit as far as our weather is concerned. So we're now having more stable weather and um, the river flows are dropping a little bit, but we're going to get, the rivers are not going to drop. They're, they're not in flood stage, but they're not going to drop drastically anymore because of all the, when the weather warms up like this, we get all that snow melt coming down. So we're still going to have high water in the rivers, but it's going to be clearing up. Um, I noticed this last week, you know, I could see down, um, probably about another foot. So, you know, it's getting really clear and the water is also warming up. Um, some of the things also um, going on is I think our McCollumy and the uh, Consumers River are still at high flows. I know they cut Orville down, um, but as soon as the sun starts popping up, you know, they're gonna start releasing more water. So, but I don't think we're in any danger or any kind of flood, but the, the worst side is the side over by Cash and then rolls out to Rio Vista because the bypass still has water in it and that water still coming down is like chocolate mud. Um, but I'm sure the pressure is dropping every day. So probably in a week or two, it's going to be very fishable. So one of the things going on right now, I hear that, you know, the fishing has been really good and I'm going to get out here pretty quick is halibut. So the halibut in the South Bay, um, there's guides out there and there's also a lot of anglers out there catching halibut. And the South Bay is clear and those fish are right around in 12 to 15 feet of water. Most of the guys are trolling tray bait because there's no bait receivers open now so you can't get any live anchovies. So they're trolling um, tray bait. Guys, some guys are putting dodgers in the front of it some guys are just trolling straight herring or anchovies and everybody seems to be doing pretty well but i'm going to be getting out there pretty soon and um hopefully i can report to you guys on that so other things going on is the sturgeon fishing the sturgeon fishing is still good it's going to be good um because of all the water we're having come in and you know sturgeon like that off color kind of muddy water they like that those conditions a lot better and i know they've been catching a lot of them from martinez you know all the way up as far as knight's landing but most of the fish they're catching up in knight's landing are seen to be oversized because those are the ones that come in the river system to spawn so be careful to handle them really gently and you know take a picture and release them don't harm them stripers i know a lot of guys are itching i've been itching but I can't catch any. You know, everywhere that I'm fishing, cause I'm on the Rio Vista side over there, it's been really muddy. I go over there and look and it's just not ready yet. But a lot of fish already have moved up into the system. Um, guys are catching them in the Feather River. So if you ask me, where do you think I would go? I would go up to the Feather. And most of the guys are drifting minnows um, and they're probably up by Shanghai, up that area, down. But I bet you I could go to the mouth and actually use um, pile worms or cut sardines. I bet you I could catch them. So, you know, I'm probably going to think about doing that one day here, you know, in the next week or two. So other things going on, um, bass fishing. It's been um, pretty tough in the Delta, but I seem to be um, catching quite a few because I've been trying different tactics. I've been... Um, trying to remember stuff that I was doing 30 years ago when we used to have these kind of high waters where you get a lot of chocolate water coming down the system. And I went and looked at some of these spots that I haven't been in 25 years and the water seemed to be in a lot better shape there. And I've been over there fishing and I've been catching a lot of decent sized bass. But I anticipate, you know, with our days getting longer, the water temperature is rising in the high 50s now. so next week if the their predictions are right and it's going to be in the 70s and maybe hit low 80 i think you know the whole delta system is going to bust wide open right now 
guys are having a tough time in the Central Delta. And um, there's some things I talked about in a couple of videos I did earlier in the month, you know, where I was catching these fish in 47 to 49 degree water. And they're a different strain of bass. And that's totally different because those Northern bass are a little more hardier than what we have in our Central Delta. But anyway, the bass fishing in the lakes, um, I hear it's been pretty good. And you have to expect that with the water temperatures warming up also in the lakes, water rising. Anytime you're in a lake and you have rising water, the fishing is a lot better because those fish will just gradually move and make their way up shallow. They know it's pre-spawn time. They're going to be looking for a lot of these shallow flats. And they'll actually move up. As the water moves up, they love that. And they'll move up right with it and you can catch a lot of fish. When you're fishing a lake that the water's dropping, those fish move off and they suspend and they wait. Very tough fishing. But right now, all the conditions are pointed in the right direction. So if you want to get out there and go do some bass fishing, I'm sure you could go to many of the lakes, some other low lakes, and catch a lot of fish. If you want to get a big one, head to Clear Lake. I hear that lake is full and those fish are starting to make their move and they come up in big pods and you could fish offshore in in that 8 to 12 feet of water and along the state park up there and up north and I bet you, you could if you find the right pod you'll catch you know a 25 30 pound bag it's not even moving the boat but that's the kind of um, fishing there is um, all the lakes I tell you I wouldn't be afraid to go try any lake for bass fishing right now crappie fishing uh, a lot of guys have been asking me about crappie um, I heard clear Clear Lake is probably the place to go and I'm going to be doing that here shortly too and um, they're catching fish in that two to three pound range so and they're also shallow I hear they're in about 15 feet of water and they'll be moving up every day as the weather gets warmer and warmer they're going to move up to spawn and Comanche always give Comanche a try that lake's got a lot of crappie in it you just have to go out and find them other things going on like trout fishing um, I'm sure they're still planting a lot of the lakes like party Comanche um, Bullards maybe Bullards but I know Collins they are but they're um, doing pretty good on the trout fishing especially at Comanche and I'm sure Amador is clear enough now so you could probably go anywhere any of those places um, trolling Rapala's on top you might have to start going down maybe 10 to 20 feet now because our weather is warming up a little bit and um, and never put that Rapala down that Rapala always seems to catch them Kokanee is a little early yet but um, if you want to go catch them hit the Bullards you know they're 8 to 12 inches and you know once in a while you might get one 13 but you know Bullards is a place to go if you want to do some early season kokanee fishing so other than that other things um going around here i want to let you guys know again that um that western bass shootout on april 14th 15th and 16th they have 50 selected anglers who compete for a prize fund of a hundred thousand and they're going to be doing the weigh-in at the convention center and they're also having all the vendors there so you could actually go to the to the convention center watch the way in and walk around and look at all the new products that are going to be coming out on the market or have already come out on the market and um, there'd be a, some local shops i'm pretty sure fishermen's where i also be there and um you know get out there and support it because if it you know if they could do it like the bass masters where they drive through and weigh in and you have a big crowd there then they'll continue to come back but you have to have the, the support from the community so other things going on, um, I did, um, I was out with, um, rolling with Kurt, you know, the friend of mine that's handicapped in a wheelchair. And, um, we went out shooting our PCPs today. He got a new one. He got a FX3 and, um, we went out and sighted our guns in because we're going to go out and do some turkey hunting pretty soon. And those, uh, PCPs that shoot these, um, 50 grain slugs at 980 feet per second. Uh, turkey don't have a chance out at 100 yards. I mean, you know, these guns are just unbelievable how powerful they are and how accurate they are. But we were going to do a short out there and we even forgot to do it. And uh, 
but hopefully I can get out and get them out and shoot a turkey and I'll get it on video and post it on the YouTube channel. Other than that, um, I think I mentioned that on Saturdays, you know, if you guys are on your way fishing, um, tune in your AM dial on 1140 on California Sportsman's and Seps and Kent's show. Because I'll be in the studio there this week and um, 6.30 in the morning, I go on and talk about what's going on in the area if I hear anything new from now to then. So that's probably going to be it for this um, report. And then, you know, hopefully you guys hit that like button and then subscribe. I need you guys to subscribe to help my channel out a lot. And if you look on the bottom, you can click that little button, leave me a comment, and I'll get back with you in a couple days. So good luck out there fishing, and I'll see you guys next week.